In this video, we'll build a chat app using Next.js and Pusher. Before I build the app, I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Next.js with any of these backend frameworks, I provided some links in the description of this video. The combinations are required, so you should build at least one backend before continuing watching this video. Now let's build the app. Now let's create the Next.js app. So open the terminal and write npx create next app. I'll call the app next chat. Let's wait till it's completed. So the project is created. I will open it with my IDE. I'm using WebStorm here and uh, let's run this app. To run this app, run npm run dev and uh, this uh, will run our app on port 3000 so i'll open the project this is our next.js app now let's add bootstrap to this uh, project so click get started so first go to getbootstrap.com click get started copy the css link here and uh, actually i will paste it later since uh, we need to make some other changes here so i will remove this api here and also this app.js the link the css link that we copied we have to put it in this head here so i'll change everything here and i'll paste the link so i need a slash here i'll remove uh, the styles here and uh, I will remove all the HTML inside. So right now we have only this uh, CSS, uh, so the, the bootstrap link. Uh, I will remove this. I will not remove this one because uh, we need to use uh, these uh, styles. So let's go to our uh, globals. We will remove this, but uh, not this. I will just remove the CSS here. So uh, this uh, will look empty and uh, we need to add the template. So go to examples and go to sidebars. So we need to copy this HTML here. So I'll inspect and uh, I'll copy this uh, HTML here. So I'll copy and I will paste it here so first if your id doesn't change a class to class name you should do it yourself so my id automatically does change these uh, tags now all these anchor links i will remove uh, all of them except the first uh, two anchor links so these are the first two till here i will remove them and uh, i will remove also the first one I'll keep only the second one and also I will remove this. So if we save, uh, we have an internal server error. Not sure what, what is that error. Cannot read property replace of undefined. Not sure why we got this error. Let's run the server again. So uh, I should remove this one. And uh, it will look like this. So now it works fine. So uh, now what is left, I will add the class container here. And uh, this will look better. So we have uh, this uh, chat template. Let's make some other changes. These anchor links, I will change them to divs and also the first one. And uh, I will add an input here for this uh, span. So input, I will add the same class name. 
and uh, this is the input for the username so first i'll create a variable here username set username is equal to use state and the default value for the username is username and uh, i'll set the value to the username and on change we'll set the event set username to event.target.value so uh, that's it this is the input and when we change it we'll change that value and uh, what else do we need we need to loop uh, the messages here so let's create a variable messages set messages is equal to use state empty array when we loop the messages here let me do it now so messages map message and uh, for each message uh, we will return this html so i'll copy this html paste it here and uh, i will remove the date here we don't need it and this is message.username and uh, this is message.message .message. so currently we don't have any message so this uh, will show an empty uh, list here uh, what we need to add is to add a button uh, an input where we can write messages so i will add here uh, in the end a form and this form will have an input with a class name of uh, form control and also a placeholder of uh, write a message so we can see we have an input let's add some space for this uh, input so i will add here in this uh, div a style inside i will add an, an object with a mean height of 500 pixels so that's it this uh, will give us some space so as we can see we have some space now where we can write a message so what i will do now is uh, i will add here another variable message and set message is equal to use state empty string by default and uh, i will set the value here is message and uh, once this input changes we'll have an event and uh, we'll set the message to event.target.value so we used now the message now the last thing that we need is to add the function here submit and uh, we will call uh, this function here so on submit we'll call a submit function and uh, this will have an event here well where we will prevent default so prevent default so we don't want to refresh the page when we type enter here so that's it uh, everything is ready now what is left is to use pusher before we sign in now make sure to have built the backend so the backend is required in this example so if you already build a backend let's sign in now and uh, here i'm using my uh, channel so it's a sandbox plan which is free you have to create a channel here i'll go to my channel and uh, go to get started so here we have uh, our example where uh, where we will use uh, pusher here so i'll copy this code and uh, i'll add here use effect and uh, i'll paste 
the code so we need pusher here so we can copy this uh, script here but uh, i prefer to install a package so npm install pusher js and here we need to import pusher from pusher js and uh, everything will highlight correctly so i'll change this to a constant and also this to a constant and uh, the channel that we want to subscribe is called chat and uh, the event that we will bind is called message and uh, we will get our data here so to get when we get our data uh, i'll create here a variable let all messages equals to an empty array all messages will push to the data and uh, we will set messages to all messages and that's it i noticed that uh, this set message wasn't used so it should be here so i used the wrong function here so this is set message not set messages and now they are all used so don't make that uh, mistake uh, now everything is uh, ready what is left is to send uh, the submit uh, event so let's send the message we'll await here so let's make this function asynchronous await fetch we need to send a request to http localhost port 8000 slash api slash messages we need to add some options so the method is a post request the content uh, so uh, we need uh, the header here actually headers content type is application json and we need to send the body so the body will send json stringify we have to create an object so we will send uh, the username and also the message and that's it so after we finish this request we have to make uh, this uh, input message to an empty string so we'll set message to empty string and that's it this is our completed app now let's test uh, the app in our browser so now i opened the app in uh, my two browsers so here i'm using chrome and here i'm using uh, safari and uh, we can write messages so i will write a message here and as we can see is appearing in both the browsers also i can write a message here and is appearing in both browsers so uh, this is how our chat will work i hope you like these videos and if you did please also share and subscribe thank you